if he can control the burst well enough on the CSAT 75, it's possible to hold back uh, a large amount of people like that. But if you start to miss even a couple of bullets, it does tend to spiral out of control pretty quickly and you just go down. This is a uh, good range for it, though. No backup anywhere nearby for Sue, so a lot of weight on his shoulders right now. They have one smoke and a couple of flashbang on the other side to try and see if they can make their way through. And they're still waiting for a long time. Just Some are just a little bit paranoid that someone's going to be walking in behind. Yeah, and fair play. He's going to go check towards T-Spawn. That's not where the danger is coming. at Simple from underpass, and Simple's going to have a field day in this game. He's going to love taking fights. There's the peak up, and he spots one. He knows what's coming. No one's rotated over towards B, so it's still all on Zeus. Now he's calling it out to check for him, and he can get nothing. Damage done onto Zoe King, and uh, Edward, next one up. Hasn't reloaded yet, so seven bullets still in. Finally going to get that reload in, a little bit important. Bomb down, and nobody dying yet for VG, so we'll see if they can find some luck here in the pistol round now they're trying to get their way out simple gonna open it up lovey with a good shot there on electronic looking for a bit more close range with the clock perfect and he's gonna circle back around great movement coming out as well just completely tricking them and now simple realizing this is not gonna happen looking for a little bit of a headshot but actually missing that one and now they're gonna try and hunt him down he just wants the exit kill so he can buy something in the next round Couple of bullets before he has to reload. Attacker switching out to another pistol and Simple gonna survive it. There's the quad kill. Not bad at all for him, but obviously not gonna help him win the round. The ace in spite of losing. Do you celebrate or do you just like cry in the corner a little bit there? I think if you're simple, you just kind of laugh, and it's. I, I, if I'm simple, I just like type in chat. I'm just like, all right, that's a taste of what's to come. Yeah. <laughs> like here we go. Get, get ready. You've been prepare absolutely yourselves. warned. I mean, that that is kind of a message to send. Yeah, VG wins, but I mean, simple just styled upon you with the USP, and so if you come into this, you know, like, just straight up, if simple has one of his games, it's it's just over for you. So you give him some confidence despite losing the round. I think the key for Navi be fair as, as it usually is for this team is is making sure you have guys like you know electronic and simple have to be mobile across the map and they have to be reading the game well enough to get into position i think we, we've seen navi actually struggle on this map when teams have gone on a heavy emphasis towards that b bomb site when it's just zeus on his own when he just anchors that bomb site and he's got no backup that's a that's a very big weakness on this map for navi so they have to be careful with that one this is a good start here electronic and zeus go down two quick kills edwards up next he's got one going for more and Simple with the scout chiming in. But all of his teammates are dead. Bombs in T-spawn, so he's got some time. Just a little bit. Ultimately, they should be able to hold on to this round. Freeman with uh, three kills. Not doing too badly. Not doing too badly at all. But two players within death range of just one shot with the scout. And Simple, he's going to go for these, hoping for a gap in the smoke. Doesn't spot it whatsoever. Up under the box. He'll eventually go, waiting for someone to come through it. You can just feel like he's going to try and build upon this. Hasn't spotted Freeman yet. There's the reaction. Spots him up. Misses the initial shot. I can't get the follow-up. Great round from Freeman. Four kills. Yeah. Solid start here for the T side. And Navi obviously investing into this round. Can't really do much in this one. So here we do see a little constellation of kills coming out. This battle especially is really quite funny, isn't it? The swap out to the next pistol and everything. Oh, and Simple is just not even ducking into cover. He knows he's out of bullets, so he's just kind of monitoring the situation. He's like, how much, how much trouble am I actually at this point? <laughs> <laughs> so, Navi get to just be out of the rifle range for a little while longer. Which is fine. Uh, can't really, really expect too much early on here. Electronic will find one good kill there with the USP. Obviously, does help out down the stretch if you can steal a rifle here or there. Simple in the corner. Wanted to wanted to play a little bit of a tricky game there, but Summer is going to find him. That will be three and zero for VG. Not bad. No, not bad at all. I mean, that that's a very nice start to this. Obviously, the pistol round is great, but then even not falling prey to that second round danger. Simple off the benefit of five kills. You can see there the observer pointing out he's got six frags. Next teammate uh, has was one. That's on Edward and Electronic. We'll see how the rest of this half goes for VG. I get the feeling that eventually, like as soon as the op comes out on Simple, even this round might just be kind of painful. But as soon as the op really comes out on Simple, it's it's kind of all over. Yeah, that's the constant worry that you have to to, to sort of think about just how good he could be with it. And as Duncan was pointing out, it's not even just Simple anymore. Like they don't actually just need that 
Joki running out. That's a really, really good, but that could have worked beautifully. If he gets the first kill, then the next guy's dropping down mid-air, and he could probably get both of them, but somehow that doesn't really come through. And now they've lost two players. Might be a third attacker is going to be going down. A lot of trouble headed their way now. Simple is kind of low on health, and he, love he's going to get Sue somehow. That's a nice shot. It's given him a chance as well, and it's kind of split the map. The defense is all on the A side. BG not exactly aware of that scenario. Bomb's going to be coming towards mid. Simple's here in the window room. Oh, this Molotov. This could be brutal. He sees it coming, though. Goes out for a one kill. Can't control the spray onto Summer. One on two scenario, and Navi still with a big, big advantage. It's a nice reaction from Simple, though. If he tries to sort of run through the flames and jump for it, there's every chance that he's going to get found. Summer sneaking on in. This could be great. He's found a gap in the defense, although Electronic actually spotting through the box. Very narrow angle that you can take that shot at. I was so confused, I switched over to Electronic's POV, and he was watching... He was watching for Palace. And it's like, did you not get the communication that the last player was in middle when he killed, when he killed Simple? So, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit wild. Just a moment. Yeah. Either way, 1-0, that's the first round, although a uh, de decent amount of damage in for VG. If they can respond here, if they can uh, keep this kind of uh, keep this kind of an early streak going, that might help them get that advantage. If there's any team that's really going to benefit from having a hot start, it would be someone like VG, where you have them in that weird economy position, you're able to rattle off your four to five rounds early, and then you just have to get lucky in one more throughout the half, right? And then all of a sudden you can put together a first half scoreline. That could be potentially dangerous to Na'Vi, but you have to get the early start. You have to respond in this round. Some are trying to be a little bit present over on that side. But he's trying to go to get the one kill, and then he's going to go down. Attacker with a good refrag. Obviously important. But yeah, Summer is at least keeping Seuss occupied. I'm not sure that's such a big win, but... Everything helps. Simple. Just going to check on the pass. <laughs> it, this is the thing, though, when you watch him play. He's just so aware of absolutely everything that's going on. It's so much fun just to see him play the game. He's he's consistently one of the most focused players, I feel like. Yeah. And even when he's not, he's just so good that it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbang up into these B-halls. Zeus going to go for the peak. Some are just watching for that. All three players from VG Flash going to be here. Here's Zeus inside the bomb site, jumping down right into the arms of Edward. No one trading that, and Zeus is going to pounce now. Or maybe it's simple. They all get one in the end. Second round for Navi, looking uh, looking easy, and so it begins. It's going to be back to pistols for Vici, and then and then I mean you have to imagine the ops going to come out for Navi. I think the real thing you saw you heard them kind of talking on the desk. This is kind of like Tyloo light, right? And and I think the one thing that we know about the Chinese players is yes, they're skilled. Not always having the best discipline and the best teamwork um, and the best kind of ideas of how to play scenarios. When you are skilled and you don't have a great like foundation of strategy and, and, and team play, you tend to take a lot of individual fights. And if you're Navi yep. at the moment and you just and you're looking at the lineup and you've got Flamey, known for impeccable aim, you have Electronic, known for his you know just impeccable aim as well, and then you have Simple, who's known for that also. You're gonna love these teams just uh, peeking and taking fights with you. Yeah, that. That will work out almost every single time in your favor. So, they, I mean, it's kind of hard if you try and try and put yourself in VG's position right now. How exactly do you do you crack this open? I mean, I feel like I feel like if you slow play it and you, you get all these duels, then that probably works in the favor of Navi. Maybe maybe you should try and see if you can surprise them with a bit of timing. Just be a little bit quicker than maybe they expect. Or do you just kind of jiggle peek with the P250 until you get two headshots? He's going to try and get this bomb planted. It's a nade out, and Simple just barely stops it. Three kills in the round from him. I think you play a little, you play more of an execute style, right? I think you kind of go for that where you attack a bomb site together, play a little bit more of the trade game, get the smokes in their face so they can only get maybe just the one kill. It's t more difficult to build upon it. And then when you know you've got them at an economic disadvantage, then you can switch it up and go into something kind of a little bit more loose, a little bit more spread out. But I think you have to you have to keep this op away from simple. And at the moment, that that is that has failed. Yes, it has. He's 13-3 and, and with just six rounds. That's a little bit terrifying. Edward with a nice movement to get her up on the scaffolding and make the jump on to the next part on Catwalk. Freeman already taking a bit of damage, and Edward actually hiding inside of the smoke, trading places. Freeman sees it coming, though, and he's going to be quick enough to react. That's really important. Saving his team there, otherwise maybe that would have been a good kill for Edward. Now it's just Electronic holding connection. He goes down. He was almost flashed for a minute there. 
Flamey gets one on Summer as well, so still favoring VG, especially if you look at the health. Sue's able to pick up Lovey there. There was a moment when it looked like they had the advantage, but they kind of kept going maybe more than they should have. I've just run out of utility as well. Nothing to kind of help them get passageway. And, I mean, all this has happened very early on in the round. Remember, this is this is very aggressive. There's still just under a minute remaining. So all within 30 to 40 seconds. You can see an attack coming up connector very, very quick. Vici not wanting to mess around whatsoever. Now Zeus inside the bomb site. He's going to back off towards CT spawn so he can have some cover. He can let attacker get into the site. Might just be able to kill him outright here. And he is just low HP on attacker. Couldn't even afford a half second of delay. And it's 4-3 as Navi take the lead. Yeah, denying the bomb plant as well, uh, like they did the last round with a grenade from Simple. So just stealing away some of the money yeah. that they otherwise could have had. Absolutely helps out. It's not like Navi's money is exactly out of control. I mean, there's, what, 5,000 on Seuss, but then the, the next up is electronic at 2,200. So. Yeah, Vici's done a good job of, of kind of keeping that reasonably low, but I, the question becomes how long can they actually do the, that kind of damage from round to round? And, I, I mean, the answer actually might be more than we think, just because I think simple, or, I mean, not simple, just, I meant to say Navi, but there's something in there on its own. Um... I think Navi might just be feeling so comfortable. You're going to see some players get over aggressive and take some fights they usually won't, and that this might be one of them. Two players getting caught inside connector. Flamey's got to be careful. They've salvaged some weapons, missing some shots, exposed towards ramp, and look at Lovey. He's gotten an angle. Smoke is going to obscure his vision. No one from Navi coming through that smoke just yet. Edward's going to be in window room, and they've got to do something. This would be a big round if they can convert it into a win. Flamey gets one. Sue's going to pick it up on attacker. With the headshot, leaving it in a two-on-two. -two. Summer and Lovey, can they turn it around? He does get spotted, the no-scope not connecting in. Now the he set us out, out of bullets, and eventually Edward comes out on top. That's a really difficult fight for Lovey. And the fact that he loses it means now Summer is in so much trouble. Good headshot on Seuss, and that's the Molotov gone as well. He could actually do this. Edward rotating all the way back through T-spawn to try and essentially win it in the last couple of seconds. He's not going to have that much time once he gets there. Does have a kit though. What he does have is the bomb being planted inside the site away from Summer's current position. So if he gets into the site with the kit and Summer doesn't realize it, uh, Summer might not read this play entirely. Edward knows he has to get a, like a stroke of luck on his side with this kind of HP. He can't take a single bullet. He's going to go hunting down for Summer. Time's ticking away. Summer's looking in this direction. He's going to get that free kill. Edward didn't even want to go for it right there at the end, and VG just steal one away. I'm a little bit surprised that Seuss and Edward didn't try and wait for the bomb plant, you know? Like, they were a little bit too quick to fight. The fight from Zeus was, was really unnecessary. Um, play that passively, because you know if he gets the bomb down, the only place he can plant, if Edward's in a connector, the only place he can plant is in that default spot, right? Yeah. So you just wait for that plant noise, and you kind of shoulder peek it, make sure he's on the plant, and you kind of eliminate him as the bomb goes down. And just went a little bit too early, and Edward obviously doesn't have the HP after that to get in any sort of fight whatsoever, so... 4-4, four to four, all tied up, and uh, Navi going to buy whatever they can into this. Yeah, this is where it really comes back. This is where you feel the weight of all of those rounds where BG did the damage. It's the fact that Navi now have AWP, MP9, couple of C set 75s, looking very scattered, you know, in spite of winning four rounds in a row. So good job on the on the Chinese side for, uh, for picking all of these rounds up. And this is where it gets interesting, because all of a sudden, if you... If you just win this one for for VG, you you can get up towards six rounds. You yeah. can get up to seven even maybe, depending on how harsh of a reset it's going to be for the Navi guys. Um, and then and then you put together the entire half you need, and then from there everything's you know just whatever else you get is just makes it happy. Yeah, the recipe's right there, most. Just gotta combine the things and you know do what it says. Need the dough, preheat the oven. All those things. I always forget to do that. <laughs> Simple over on this side. Oh, to get the kill on Summer. That's beautiful. I guarantee Summer's never seen a peak like that at the V-bomb site. That is really well done. And Zeus even going to build upon it, just getting wildly aggressive. And Smoke is down as well. They can't even see through it. Spam comes in, and Zeus is finished off. But that is a very, very cool little sequence from Navi. He even legged uh, Freeman through the smoke there, simple. So I guess that's something. They do have the man advantage still. Flamey's on 19 health, so could be could be uncomfortable for him at some point with the C-Set 75. 
Oh, and Lobby taking down Simple. That's an important kill. He'd snuck all the way into the ladder room. Look at Zoking. He's flanking through the B bomb site. This is going to be another free kill onto Edward. Navi has lost track of this round. Edward has no idea. There it is. There's the frag. The bomb site is open for business, especially with that Molotov in towards market. Electronic can get nowhere close, and it's just two CZs. This is going to be a round for Vici. Just very well done. I mean, that was looking like a perfect opening. Navi didn't have that much of investment into it, so, you know, apart from the AWP and the MP9, but still... I mean, they, they've, I mean, they just couldn't afford any kind of a major investment. That's everything they had. I mean, we were... Uh, we were criticizing Seuss in the last round for taking that fight. This time, he got the kill with the MP9, picked up the AWP, then sat to fight through the smoke and got killed by Freeman. I mean, that's also a little bit unfortunate. He could have probably just fallen back and they would have had a, you know, a five versus three. It's more like the, it's just, once you got into this three versus three, it's just, there were so many advanced positions and you could see Navi on the other side of the map was being so aggressive that, that Vici was able to kind of slip through the cracks. And then that flank towards the B bomb site is just so brutal. It's just, it's just interesting seeing Navi lose that round with a, with a five on three advantage at one point, right? Yeah. A little bit unfortunate. So certainly have to go back. They do have Electronic who's able to get an AK-47, so you still have some weaponry that can uh, that can turn the tides. But uh, Vici putting up a really nice fight here so far. They absolutely are. Uh, it's nice to see Freeman coming up with 10 kills, 8 on Summer, and it's not like anyone's completely out of it. Everyone is chipping in at this point on the T side. Seuss on Seuss, which is uh, always a good time. See what Simple's got in store for us. I'm behind the smoke in the window room. Dodging bullets, and this is just Freeman just rushing down middle, now rushing up connector. He's going to see no one holding him back. And once he gets into the A bomb site, it should be easy. They're far away, they're not even looking his direction. Two more kills for him. You love the aggression, it's paying off, and the AK-47 can only get one kill, but now Simple had a chance, but Freeman puts him down quick. Another nice triple kill. And I don't know if it's the end of the world, but it could be a little bit annoying for Navi that the two players that are forward in the A-bomb side actually get shot from connector. Like, that's the sort of thing where you you might be inclined to ask your teammates, who exactly is holding middle if <laughs> yeah. we're holding the A-bomb side? Right. Why like, are we getting shot someone, in the back? Someone needs to have information or someone should be spotting. I think I, th I don't think we'll see any, or I don't think you'd get any of that in that round just because they only had the pistols. They had the yeah. one AK that was saved, but it's no great loss. It's not worth getting uh, ruining the mood of your team for. Wood again, trying to play aggressive at the edge of the smoke in the middle. Freeman goes down, but Simple's been taken care of. That's great news. If you can shut Simple down early in a round, that is always going to be a positive sign. Flamey walking away from the smoke as Seuss takes down. Soaking. Just a lot of trading going on across the map at the moment. Flamey's alone, though, in the A-bomb site, which is... A little bit alarming. This is a lot of what I mentioned. I mean, look at Navi. A lot of individual fights just going on everywhere. It was simple to push B, then Zeus followed it up and gets the equalizer. One player pushing mid, and they're getting picked off. So this is giving Vici that kind of a stand. I mentioned that Flamey and uh, Electronic would be able to handle it, but not as well as I perhaps thought. Edward's going to creep out, and uh, the timing around these boxes is so awkward. There's one kill. That's huge. Summer with the response. No idea. Flamey has just gotten given a gift, and no one saw him whatsoever. And you could see even Edward just laughing a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty cool. They got the, the last two kills at the same time, yeah. so... Quick... Synchronized fragging. Yeah, you A new it. sport. A new sport? New eSport. I, um... I've never understood... Is it swimming where they do that in? Like, yeah, synchronized swimming. I just don't understand... Like, it just looks weird, doesn't it? I just don't understand that sport. Uh, I mean... I think it looks kind of cool. Does I don't it? really understand it either. But it looks cool. They do some cool designs. I can't. I'm, I can't get on board with you with that, Moses. <laughs> you don't like LED shoes. Do you like synchronized swimming? I didn't say. Don't like cheesecake. Oh, actually, I did say I liked it. Uh, I, I don't mind cheesecake. Oh, chocolate cake. It's chocolate cake. I don't like. <laughs> it's absolute alien, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like chocolate to begin with. That's the issue. Uh, and Edward's gonna find the opening headshot, and now Lovey coming up, Flamey and Connector. There's a lot of weird timings for him, and he's gonna lose both. Flamey's he's got the bomb down as well under the window. It's about to be tied up 6-6, six to six, barring any massive collapse out of Navi, which, fair play, we have seen a couple times. Freeman's still on the board, and he's got plenty of kills. 
be nice to find a couple more in this round. Five versus three. They shouldn't be losing it. Flamey fighting in the middle. Kind of alone. I can't even make any sense of that. Th this is great, though, if you're if you're Vici, because what it is doing, you, we always talk about the concept of when you're these underdogs, right? You eventually have to earn the respect. And, I, and those kind those kinds of fights, if Navi's going to take those individual peaks, once you start winning them, that, that's what we mean by earning the respect. It's Vici who's actually coming out on top of most of them. So Navi's not, not going to be able to just kind of bully their way and just kind of deathmatch their way to a clean victory here. They actually have to play it smart. Really, never want to try and bully simple. That's for sure. That that'll that'll end badly. <laughs> six six and simple at eighteen kills as we're being pointed out here. But Freeman at fifteen. I mean, that's that's actually pretty impressive. Scoreline tied up. I think VG are going to be pretty happy about a tied scoreline sort of uh, towards the end of the first half, especially on the T side. The only, I mean, the the, the only problem is if this finishes nine six, then it might still f sort of feel like man, we could have done just a little bit more, right? I, you can't think about that if you're Vici, though. That, that's the thought that just, like, you can't let it cross your head. You have to say... Because when you come up with a game plan, you're obviously never going to say Vici against Navi and T-side Mirage. You're never going to say if you're Vici, we need 10 rounds on the T-side. <laughs> so, right? So, I mean, once you get to six, you, you kind of have in your head, that's that's the goal we're at. And that's and as the end game leader, you have to make sure everyone kind of believes in the fact that six is, like, the exact amount that, that you needed to, to win. That was, like, the minimum. So... Lie is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> but a good lie. But a good lie. Yeah. So, um, I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> Just uh, some upgraded pistols. No armor at all. So, they should get chewed up pretty easily on approach to this A bomb site. Lots of counter grenades. And by now, Navi are realizing there's nobody in the middle. So, electronic. Double checking to make sure there's absolutely no one here. Simple gonna rotate into position. Edward gonna be next. Yeah, they are gonna get crushed coming into this bomb site. Nice utility usage. Yeah, it is a little bit dangerous coming through the smokes against these CZs, but enough early kills eliminates the danger. And I, I mean, the rest of the three players from Vici, they were kind of stuck onto that ramp. They didn't even really get into the action until the round's already over. Nicely done from Navi. Four players survive, seven to six. Again, they take the lead. See if it, they can maintain it. It looked like the first two VG players that came through wanted to actually run through their own smokes towards Connector. And you got to wonder, and then the last three were sort of coming up the ramp, so maybe if they do that, there's like some sort of, you know, synchronized plan there. They sort of take over Connector and the, the, that allows for the rest to come out of ramp and they could do something behind that. Well, maybe they catch someone from Navi peeking from Ticket Booth down towards Connector. That makes sense, doesn't it? Didn't work out. No. Ooh, look at this aggression. Flamey, Edward combined both of them. Flashbangs are out. The follow-up, and Flamey's ready to go. Spots the head. Now he sees the second one peeking, and Freeman again, just shutting people down. He's having a great game. And a losing effort so far into this half, but Edward is the next one up, and Freeman's going to find him as well. It's non-stop aggression, and VG have somehow... I mean, this has been a very, very quick game. They found themselves in a five-on-one. Simple going to get shot down. Another triple kill for Freeman. He's really having a good time. Tied Eight. with Simple now. <laughs> yeah, 18 and 10. This is, I mean, so Edward has been trying this so much where he's playing aggressively uh, around the smokes in the middle. And Vici have basically sent a message now that they can handle it. They know how to stop that. This could get this could get dangerous for Navi if they keep playing like this. Like that's when you when you force them to respect you, as I talked about earlier, you expect there to be some kind of adjustment out of Navi when they eventually are losing these battles, right? Yeah, and that adjustment hasn't come in. It hasn't really clicked. Not quite yet. They've also been successful in shutting down simple a number of rounds where they actually sort of win the fights against him. This time, going to settle for smoking him off so that he has to move somewhere else, and he's going to be forced right into Freeman. Actually, looked like he had a second there, a little bit slow. Simple going to be able to take him down. Smoke comes out. Still electronic and flaming at the A bomb site. Flamey's going to grab one towards Palace. Attacker up next, and he's just got a death match. Electronic hasn't given away his position. He's only got the UMP, so he's got to lure him in closer. And Edward this time has an eye on Connector. But Attacker's found his way there. This is a bit awkward for everyone involved. Edward's got to back away, not expecting a fight from that angle. And there goes Simple. Electronic pounces now, him and Zeus, and a two-on-one to get that lead one more time to end the half. Yeah, that would probably be great for Navi right now. Looks very possible at the moment. Attacker down to 26 health. And doesn't got the bomb picked up at the moment. So 
45 seconds. If they peek him again, there's a chance. Good use of the Molotov. I mean, got to try and force something at this point, but the Electronic looks like he's going to be safe behind the box, and unfortunately for Attacker, that was the one thing they really needed to get done. Zeus will go down. Can still do this with a quick headshot, but Electronic will drop him. The UMP, just one bullet needed, and that will be the round for Navi. 8-7 in their favor, which is... Uh, I don't think not much cause for celebration right now if you're Navi. No, I mean, they're still not going to be worried whatsoever, but if you're Vici, that's going to give you a little bit of confidence. You, you've you won a lot of fights. You were able to kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of these guys outside of a few rounds from Simple. I don't think there was anything that Navi showed him that, that Vici probably feels like they can't overcome. So some hope into the second half again. Another good start for, for uh, Vici, the way they had in the first half. Pistol in the ensuing two rounds. I think it started quite nice and get the ops out. Here's the thing. I mean, we saw a lot of these wins in this half based off of, you know, triple kills, quad kills from Freeman. He had a stellar, stellar opening half. You can no longer dictate the pace if you're him, right? It's, it's, you have to kind of play your spot in the map, and you have to kind of rotate and get into position, read the game properly. That's where it's going to get tough. I mean, there are some CT signs on this map that will play the window player a lot, much more dynamically, so that yeah. that guy has tons of room to move around with. And if Freeman is going to play this level, I mean, it'd be, it would be fun to see him not just as an anchor on a bomb side that can't move, right? Yeah. Or well, you'd expect. I think he's going to be feeling confident as well in that kind of a performance. We might see it. And unfortunately, it looks like he's playing the role of the B anchor. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh... I mean, now would be the real test, wouldn't it? They're all going to be coming for him any second now. Backup is miles away, and he's going to go down immediately right in the middle of the hallway as they pounce on him. And, yeah, no chance for a reply there. Just going to be dropped. Attacker needs something and it has to be pretty quick as well they're gonna try and see if they can run him down and yeah none of the shots connecting early on for VG I mean when that happens then you are just gonna have a hard time no matter what really uh, no one's getting away I'll be gonna hunt them all down you have an electronic chasing for summer who's got one kill almost gets caught and finds the headshot it'll be pissed around for Navi though no matter what happens and now I mean, this is a quite a good ending he does have a Kit. The bomb's far too gone. Yeah, definitely. But it means <laughs> a couple of more kills would still be really helpful. Yeah, anything in buy, right? No, he's gotten tagged up and he's just going to give it away. We'll see if Flamey's going to die with the bomb. So they lost all the armor. And for their play, ah, he gets the shot at the end as well, Summer. So, nice. you know, if you wanted to buy something like a scout or something in this round, then that it really helps to get uh, that many kills at the end of it. Didn't quite do a simple and get the ace, but um, still still pretty good. Still looks good, yeah. I mean, I do love it when people make that jump out the window and they make it look so easy. They just <laughs> cross on over and no problem. I've never tried it, actually. It's, it isn't as easy as it seems. And you feel like an absolute idiot when it doesn't work. And you just crush your shins on the pavement below. Yeah. Movement in Counter-Strike has never been my, my forte. So I, I tend to avoid... Or in real life. That's rich, coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My brain was trying to tell me, don't, don't, <laughs> don't go there. Flamey watching for any kind of a catwalk push or aggression. I think he spotted some, some of the bodies out earlier. Definitely saw that one, but Simple's just going to eliminate everyone. He's just putting out a clinic right now. Three kills. Even drops the bomb and just gets a quick one tap. That is a very fast sequence to get four frags. Edward took him down. Edward actually stopped him from getting an ace. Did again. Edward kill him at the end? Yeah. It's unfortunate. That mother My real dream Moses, uh yep. when I uh when I when I when I get to lose all the weight is to endlessly lecture people about weight loss. Um, yeah, yeah that's, you're gonna be that, that person? I, I've got it all planned out. I think you'll have earned that. So I don't even think I, anyone could argue with it. Yeah, but those are the worst people, aren't they? <laughs> if they stop smoking and all they all they do is teach other other smokers about the, the, <laughs> the dangers of not smoking. Cigarettes. But that's my g current plan in life. I mean, vegans. I might become a vegan just for the just to annoy people. That would actually be brilliant. <laughs> are all, why are all your life decisions that we've discussed today all about just annoying people in, in your life? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Seems to be a trend here. It's. Uh, I just think it's. Uh, it'd be funny, wouldn't it? In a way. 11 to 7. And Vici's going to get a chance to respond into this. The M4 is coming out, the rifles, the weaponry, uh, everything they can battle with. They're going to be light on utility. Not as many nades as they'd like. Obviously going to be missing kits as well as we typically see in these fourth rounds. But we'll see if they can build upon that first half. Because this is where 
I mean, even if Navi lets themselves off the chains the way they did on the defensive side, you can manage that a little bit better on the offense, and Simple's got that op. Saw what he did just in that previous round of the AK. Four very, very quick kills at different angles. And that op is going to be over towards Palace. 7 to 7 now, 19th round coming up, and this is where the real test is going to happen again for VG. Ooh. If they can shut it down early, there's going to be a good chance for them to establish defense here, but Navi, with this kind of a strong lead at the beginning of the second half, they need to close it out early against them. I feel like if Navi start to build a real bank here, it's, it's not going to be easy. Interesting jump. Oh, the follow-up grenade. It's going to land right in his face. Someone's going to be so angry about that. Simple taking down attacker through a wall somewhere, and that's just going to get even worse. So King now trying to stay alive, turning around at the wrong time. He was worried about mid-connector, and he actually had two teammates watching it, more or less, so... Could have maybe tried to trust them a little bit more. Freeman and Lovey, not sure if they could do anything to even dream about retaking this, although Zeus being a bit aggressive, needlessly so. And yeah, just the SMGs finding out where they are. They now know where Freeman is as well. And as you would expect after a round where Navi just trounces you once the rifles and the full guns come out, we're going to get a flash out of Vici as they want to talk things over. They gave, they were given, they gave up a lot of space over to Navi that round. A lot of room where uh, towards that eight bombsite players were getting towards the stairs before even being spotted. One player pretty passive in towards the ticket booth and then back towards jungle as well. And you're just, I mean, that's, that's too far away from points of contact. It's far too late to call out for reinforcements to get in any kind of a position to respond when they're already in those, those scenarios and those angles. And now we get to see Simple start styling. This is where Nip Simple just says, uh, going to make a highlight movie. Yeah, I, that's the worry that I have as well. I kind of feel I feel bad for VG Gaming because why they did a good job in the first half, but now that they've lost the pistol in the second half, it feels like even though even though they build a sort of foundation, it might still be out of reach just because you know Navi are looking just a little bit too confident, comfortable. They've got the money. CTs don't. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I, th I think. You know, for, for Vici, again, this this kind of an event, even if you look at a lot of the teams like Vici, maybe not Tai Lu, I feel like they've had enough time, but Vici, guys like NRG. Um, this is the kind of event where, you know, you talked about it yesterday, the minimum the minimum that you get to play in this tournament is, what, six maps if you lose all three 2-0? Yeah. But, I mean, if you're like a new squad or you're a team like Vici who's not used to playing this kind of competition, these events are great. Plenty of experience. You get the practice rooms at the hotel to play against them as well. These are the ones where you can really kind of, you know, build up your strength. And at least for Vici, it's all about taking something back with you, right? Yeah, there are some events where you, you sort of play, like, you you play, what, two best of ones, and then... And then you're gone. Then you're gone. And that if you lose them quickly, then you don't even have any raw material that you can go back and look at. You just say, like... Ah, well, you know, we won seven rounds overall, and now we're gone, so, <laughs> you know. Like, there's not much to look at, so right. that's true, that's very true. It's all about managing your expectations, Anders. I don't think Vici's coming in here and thinking they're going to be placed in top four. You good at that, Moses? What, managing, managing expectations? Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty decent. You have none, that's... <laughs> Listen, you know my saying, set the bar low and you'll never be disappointed. I like that. Edward... Probably slightly bit disappointed. Trying to see if he could sneak on in. Attacker gonna get win that fight against Flamey. That's looking a lot better now. And now they can really afford to be much more defensive if they if they need to be here, VG, and hopefully they won't be too aggressive. Soaking faking the smoke and then moving on the other side of it. Electronic sees the smoke. He's still gonna check for it. That's a heads up play from him. That's a big win. The, the bigger one coming up is Simple now with the AWP is getting in towards Palace. Him versus Attacker is a huge deal. Simple expecting it, but I think he had the pistol out. He does tag Attacker down. Attacker is going to stay in these holes to protect against the bomb. 45 seconds left on the clock as Zeus is coming over. And a big, big lean for Vici. And Attacker just going to start winning every single fight. Zeus coming with a MAC-10. Surely he'll be able to land one or two bullets here. Swing around, and there it is. So... One more kill from Zeus, and this would be a phenomenal round. A good damage done towards the uh, towards the economy of Vici. Just keep him low. Yeah, you obviously can't really dream of getting onto a bomb side at this point. So, save the AWP maybe if they don't come for him. That would be interesting. You you can you can. Oh, he's gonna swap back to the AK instead. I was gonna say they have so much money. I'd I'd like to see Zeus just kind of you know go for something. Might as well. He's not going to.
just... uh, that's fine as well. I mean, it's I just like to see it just because it's you know you have such a solid lead. You know you have such a big advantage in terms of preparation, and obviously if you're gonna peak right after the time goes, you're just gonna tilt a lot of people in this world. He's doing a you. He's just trying to annoy everyone. Yeah, successfully. I <laughs> even I'm mad now. That was uh, that was that was really annoying, wasn't it? Like then just do it five seconds earlier. That like yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> 13 to 8 for Navi. Off his back out and simple. And this will be cool. Summer's got one on the CT side on the defense. He's going to take that towards connector, it looks like. Simple waiting for a peek. And how's this going to go? Molotov down. Smoke even misses extinguishing that. There is a small gap in it. But now Summer's got to divide his attention between Palace and Middle. Fiji, I mean, winning that round is obviously big news for them, but... They can't really let their foot off the pedal right now. Like, they have to continue for quite a while. They need to win, like, four or five consecutive rounds here before before they let Na'Vi even get the single one, because otherwise this is just not going to work out well for them. Na'Vi are close enough now that stringing together one or two rounds would force the eco back on the Chinese side, and that would probably be the end of it. Yeah. That would spell doom. No mistakes being made by Vici this time, though. No one falling too early. All five players for Navi are here in middle around these smokes. They still have some utility to use when they eventually do get up and take control. Edward just blocking a peek on Catwalk, holding the angle so his teammates can be protected in towards Connector. Summer's going to get aggressive, and he should be able to find one. He does, so does Attacker. All of a sudden, they can have a crossfire, but Navi's already up Connector. That's a great double entry for Zeus. Flashbang coming in. They know Attacker's location. We've been throwing a little bit of shade on Zeus, but that was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? Just quick to guess the next position correctly. Three on three now. Flashbang does nothing. They do have a kit and a Molotov on Freeman. That one grenade could definitely be big if they want to take care of Simple later on. Instead, they're going to hard check the shadow position. Lovey going to be going down to Electronic and now Seuss already with a double. Making his way back around and this is obviously smart. I think VG might have to give up his retake, especially now. That's a triple for Seuss. And a big round for him. Wonderful to see that. Again, they should have given it up a while ago, but obviously yeah. you can see Freeman wanted the AWP. But that final kill from Zeus, is that's going to be real rough because this is, it's not like a full-blown reset. And they can actually still, Lovey can have a strong buy and, and Freeman can drop one over. And I think they kind of have to at 8 to 14. You've only won one round in this half. So you, you kind of have to get yourself going before Navi gets up towards 15. It's, it's kind of unreasonable to think you're going to be able to win seven straight map points and Simple, just dominant again. He's just chilling. It is. Holy hell. It's just a little bit wild, isn't it, how he keeps doing it? <laughs> just game after game. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, it's testament, though, because we frequently at these events, you know, viewers don't often or usually don't get to see it. Um, more often than not, don't get to see it. But, you know, when there's when there's these kind of practice pieces and everything, we, we frequently see Simple grinding games outside of his team practices yep. as well. He's like in, he's playing FPL, he's pugging, he's deathmatching, whatever it might be. I mean, he's putting a lot of time and uh, obviously he's got an incredible amount of natural skill, but it's also a lot of hard work and dedication. Now that there's some uh, some space for Navi to work with, they've cracked into this bomb site. Oh, that's a nice shot from Freeman though. Winning the fight against Simple with the AWP. That's going to be a little bit of a headline in the round here. Zeus, what do you want to see if he can Create a little bit of space for Flamey to get onto the side. Obviously, Flamey at 12 health with the bomb means hard for him to put it down. Maybe they should swap it around a bit. Looking for the opening. There's Lovey going down. Now they're on 12 and 14 health. They know where Freeman is as well. Can he find the kill here? On top, looking for the spray. Seuss is playing very well at the moment. That's almost enough. 40 seconds left and Freeman running onto the side with pistol off. Gonna get one, but Seuss will win the round regardless. 10 health left. Back-to-back -back rounds for Seuss here. Yeah, that was actually a very smart way to clutch that out. You could see he was using very narrow angles, and as soon as he got into any kind of a fight, he just kind of shuffles himself even further behind the box so that his bullets can go through. Pistol bullets are less than likely, less likely to deal the killing blow. So really using the cover to his advantage, but a very good round, and obviously knowing even though he gets dinked in that second-to-last fight, they're going up against an opera, so it doesn't much matter what his health is at that point. I really, I don't, I'm not sure the scoreline right now is telling a fair story towards VG. I feel like they've done more than, than the eight rounds they currently have on the board. Um, 
but Navi are just looking good, and even though Freeman is almost keeping up with Simple, it's not enough. Not, I mean, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty fair, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, because here's here's why it's it's not that. You know, I don't think that it's been a cool game out of Ichi, and they've, they've done some good stuff, but it all happened primarily in the first half when they had the offense, right? Yeah. We, we usually see underdog struggle on the CT side. This is this is the side and the inexperienced teams, the side where it requires a lot of communication. It requires a lot of understanding of how to play the map and how the opponents play the map. So I think CT side is usually where you kind of see some of these struggles and where you see Na'Vi and, and teams like this able to kind of pile it on the underdogs. No, I absolutely agree. There isn't enough... Uh there isn't enough published research or conversation even about why that happens, why it's so difficult to play the CT side. We should have a, a real real podcast about that at some point. All right, we can do that. That's an easy one. All right. We can barrel through that bad boy. I am, I'm in, I'm ready. So is Edward, just making it all the way into the site, getting a double kill as well. And attack is going to be the last one oh, left. No. Does get one, but Simple <laughs> will clean it up. 16 to 8 in favor of Navi on the first map. Simple finishing at 29 kills and 13 deaths. Really slacking off not getting to that 30, 30 kills. Yeah, a bit disappointing, isn't it? I think, uh, I mean, despite this, despite the scoreline, despite, you know, kind of the dominance in the second half, I think, you know, we're both pleasantly surprised with how well Vici played in the first half on the T side. When they got to, like, yeah. make the decisions and dictate, obviously, uh, Navi playing a little bit loose, feeling a little bit of freedom. Freeman as well had a... Had a very good game, which you're probably not going to get every single time, but uh, that was a cool opening map for these two teams. Definitely.